the other thing that's happening here, which I'm so, a birthday party is a time to celebrate, isn't it? And another celebration came for this week. Albie, if you would raise your hand. Or stand up. And Susie, <coughs> they live in a condo complex. And when you live in a condo complex on God Ocean Mile, you end up with an accumulation of bicycles that get just left behind. Right? And he's hauled all 16. Is it 14 or 16? Well, 12 bicycles for adults, two for tricycles for adults. That instead of the complex just getting rid of them or having somebody pick them up, they're donating them to our Ruth Ministry Congregational Care Teams. So people who don't have transportation, they're going to be rehab, which that'll be free too, and given out to people who are in need. So we thank you for that, Robert. Reverend Patrick asked me to oh. email, bring in one of the bikes. I want to do a blessing on it. I want to yeah, here. Why didn't you tell me Friday when I was bringing him all the way down to Wilton Manors to get repaired? I'm not going to, I can't fit him on my car. Oh, there is a God. But I also wanted yeah. to thank this fellow named, Car this person named Carvel, who has a bicycle oh, yeah. shop over Wilton at Collective. Wilton Collective. And that was the person that I had recovered a bicycle that had been abandoned over at Hugh Taylor Birch State Park, brought it over there. And he looked at it and said, how much are you willing to repair this, spend to repair this one? I said, well, try to make it less than $100, but I can go up to $100. And he says, what's it for? I said, well, the UCC Fort Lauderdale Church, I want to give it to them. They can give it to a needy person. And he says, tell you what, leave that one here, take this one, it's all restored and in great wow. condition. Wow. So I brought that one over. Wow. And that's why I went back to Carvel and said, you know, I've been working on a program for six months to try and open up the bicycle racks, get that restored and get everything and get these bicycles out of there. And Carvel said, bring him over, and you don't have to worry about him getting stolen from the church. He's got a locked gate right where he is. So he says, just leave him here as I get them fixed up. Carvel, Carvel says, you can pick him up one at a time when you've got really some. Amazing. So thank you very much, thank and you. God bless Carvel, who I've actually seen at the church here oh, in yeah. the past. So it worked out good. Thank you. Yeah. And what should be recognized more than anything is Carvel is a person who is transgender. So instead of worrying about her own trials and tribulations, she's concerned about her neighbor. So that's a testimony to her great love and presence of the Holy Spirit in this, our community.